What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this, one, I want to break down what's happening with Neo, Tesla, Spy, NVIDIA, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I want to break down what's going on with the economic calendar approaching tomorrow. Some big data that's coming out for Neo very, very soon. And you should be watching for the share prices of Neo and the other stocks out there. But before I begin the double's information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. And the offer ends today in just about 12 hours from now. Anyways, for Neo, we have a bearish looking trend right here as Neo has been slowly down, making lower highs and lower lows, and it's been continuing to fail to really hold some key supports. So, this is showing some weakness right now, at least technically speaking. And there is a risk of more downside, at least for Neo, as we're about to approach this support right over here around 4.06. So, I'm seeing a little bit more downside potential just temporarily, but whether or not this continues will also depend on Neo's delivery support, which is going to be coming out within the next two days. So, I'll break down more information about this in the markets a little bit later. I first want to talk about some data. Just know that tomorrow is going to be Monday, July 1st, the first day of July and the first day of Q3, at least for the markets. Just note that 15 minutes after the market opens, we have the S&P Global Manufacturing PMI report. Then we have the ISM Manufacturing, Employment, Services, and other very, very important pieces of data, at least for these different sectors. New orders and prices are going to be important, at least for inflationary data. That's also coming out at 10 o'clock a.m. We will see how this ends up affecting the markets. Uh, this is all coming out right before Jerome Powell's speech on Tuesday. So we'll see how things go, but make sure you watch for all of this very carefully. Now, for earnings, there's not really much coming out. It's all very, very minor. Uh, the reason why there's not much coming out is because this is going to be a short trading week because the market's going to be closed on July 4th in the U.S. Uh, that's because of the fact that we have the you know Independence Day over here. We have the 4th of Jul July holiday. So there won't be trading at least then. As far as Neo goes, there's some news coming out that Neo's opened more showrooms in Germany, continuing to grow at least in Germany and all over Europe. Now, it's great to hear about this, but I am a little concerned about these new tariffs that have been announced. Neo is saying that they're not going to let that get in the way of their growth and such. So that is a good piece of news. But in order to continue, we need to see how their margins look and also their deliveries. So I'm going to hope for the best and be very, very optimistic nonetheless. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Now, as far as registrations go, I just want to note to everyone that so far, Neo did about 4,700 re registrations for the week ending on July, or I'm sorry, June 23rd. So we have one more week left of data for Neo. We're hoping we get a very, very strong week to finish the quarter very, very strongly. And usually during the very, very end of the quarter, we tend to see a big push. So I'm hoping that that ends up being the case, at least for Neo moving forward. If that's the case, we're going to be looking for a big break excuse me a nice little bounce at least for neo uh, we also have a big delivery target to me reaching uh they basically told us that for the second quarter they're going to be delivering 54,000 to 56,000 which means they have to do about 17,000 to 19 uh 19,800 deliveries at least for the month of june so we'll hope we get this uh we're actually seeing deutsche bank coming out they're saying that neo should be giving us 18,200 deliveries in june which would be very bullish if we do get a big bounce so we'll see how it goes on top of all this, I just wanted to say that Neo also has their very important Vice President Sherman on Quality Management Committee, who also is invited to attend and give keynote speeches at the Neo's Sustainable Practices and Empowerment for uh, MSMEs. Uh, the important thing about this is that this is going to help kind of establish Neo's goals, their vision, and such. And I find this to be good news because it's once again establishing their fundamentals. Bank of America Securities has a neutral rating for Neo. And on top of this, we have the price price ratio being kind of flat, kind of dipping a bit as Neo has some weakness. Uh, Mondays tend to be green only about 49% of the time, and Tuesdays are green over 55% of the time. So we'll see how things develop from here. We have about 48 million in volume. That is once again above average. So we'll see how things develop. So as far as Neo goes, <laughs> excuse me, guys, we have a nice little rejection that's been forming right over here. And we're continuing to dip right over here. So I think there's a very good chance we're going to retest this previous resistance becoming support at 4.07. So I think Neo will dip a little bit more. It's going to hit the very low fours. And then we'll be watching to see what the reaction is. So just because we dip approaching tomorrow and approaching our deliveries, this is not necessarily guaranteed that we're, we're going to crash at least forever. Because if we get good deliveries, Neo could see a big bounce back to the fives. If we get a very, very strong report, if we get a bad report, Neo could continue to sink. So we'll see how things go. Deliveries are going to be very important, at least for Neo. not to mention what we see for the entire quarter. So the Q2 deliveries report should be coming out either tomorrow, later tomorrow, if not by 
if not by uh, Tuesday. So between Monday and Tuesday, they're going to be coming out. And this is going to cause a very, very big move for NEO. Same thing with Tesla. Now, Tesla's pumped quite a bit, but we are kind of rejecting at least on the four hour. So I do see some signals that suggest that Tesla may dip just a little bit right here. Could be retesting 195, if not 193, which is completely okay. We're going to likely dip a little bit, and then we'll have to see what Tesla does from here because it doesn't matter. Don't worry about any kinds of dips because uh, what matters is going to be what reaction we end up getting. Are we going to get a big bounce or not, depending on deliveries? If deliveries are weak, we could be looking for a big rug pull all the way down to the much lower 180s. If we don't get that, we could be looking for a big rally to continue higher. Looking at the share price, this could be a symmetrical structure. See how it looks symmetrical here? Well, if this were to be symmetrical, we'd be coming down again, then continuing to pump. Just like how we we pumped, we ended up dumping here, came up, and then we dumped again. So it could be symmetrical where we kind of like dump and then pump. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know for sure what it's going to be, so we'll just have to wait. But that's going to be very important for us moving forward. For SPY, now I'm in the dead center right now. If we're bearish, we want to see it lose the neckline right over here. We want to see it lose this... 542.5 area if we lose that we're going to be looking for a big dip all the way down to these lower levels all the way down to about 537 if we're bullish you want to see it break past 547 if that breaks we'll be looking for a nice pump we are stuck in the middle going back and forth and back and forth so i'm going to wait <laughs> excuse me i'm going to wait and see which way do we break if we break 547 we're bullish if we lose 542.5 we're going to turn bearish just wait and see be very, very patient on this. Otherwise, we're just range bound. Whichever way we break will determine the much bigger direction. Break 547, there's going to be a big rally coming. If not, we're going to see a double top projection. I'm not convinced of either of these. I'm just going to wait and see. That's the best thing I can really tell you, at least for now. NVIDIA trading sideways right here. We do have a flag that's forming. We'll be watching to see if NVIDIA continues this trend. As of right now, it's kind of bearish looking. So look for a little rebound on Monday and see if we can get a break. If we break 125, we could be looking for a bigger push. Otherwise, it's just kind of range trading for now. So I do see a flag that could be forming. We're going to most likely reflect this for a little pop and drop tomorrow unless we finally get a break. But otherwise, this is what NVIDIA has been doing and may continue to do this at least for now. For Bitcoin, we're starting to bounce a little bit on Bitcoin. If we break the 50 EMA, this 62,000 area will be looking for a bigger push uh, all the way up to about 63,500. If we fail, we're going to get a big rejection. So we'll just have to wait and see. On top of this, when it comes to Apple, Apple has once again a bearish looking structure, uh, but it really depends if we end up losing support or not. So we're just kind of range trading on Apple. Uh, if we end up projecting, we lose 209, then yes, we could turn a lot more bearish and start dipping. If we break past 212, we'll be looking for a push this imbalance. As of right now, it looks like Apple's going to rebound a bit higher to about 214. We're just going to continue to get tighter and tighter and tighter. I find that to be a lot more probable. So I think that Apple's just getting tighter and tighter. I think that we're going to be looking for a nice little range right over here. And I think that that's going to likely be the case, at least for the time being, for how things end up developing, at least moving forward. But that's what I see as the most likely possibility. Uh, I favor that this was is likely what Apple will do. We'll just get tighter and tighter and form a wedge. And then once we get a break, we will see what the much bigger move is. Otherwise, we're just going to consolidate at least for a bit. And then finally, we just have a few more super micro looking kind of weak. We have a head and shoulders like structure, but we need to lose support at 815. If we lose that, we'll be looking for a dip down to about uh, 780. If we bounce, we'll be looking for 850. 60 it does look a little bit more bearish technically speaking in terms of patterns so there could be a risk of downside but we'll just have to wait and see amazon you know it's kind of rejecting a bit but we're approaching support at 192 if we lose 192 we're dipping to 188 if we hold 192 we could be bouncing back up so look for a test of 192 tomorrow a little dip and we'll see if we lose support or not exact same setup on meta if we lose 504 we're going to be looking for a dip all the way back down to about 494 if we're, bear, if we're bullish, you want to see it bounce off that and try to get back above our key support at 510. Break 510, we're bullish. Lose 504, we're bearish. We'll just have to see how it goes. Anyways, guys, that's it for my video. I'm going to try to keep it short from here. As far as NEO goes, tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. We will likely see a little bit more downside in NEO in the morning, but we'll wait for NEO to announce the deliveries either on Monday or Tuesday. Once it comes out, we'll be expecting a very, very big move. Can't wait to see what it looks like. With that being said, thank you all so much for listening. Neo's deliveries are coming. So even if we do dip a bit more, deliveries will be a big catalyst to either pump us back up or even cause a bigger rug pull. So just wait and see. And with that being said, that's the best thing we could do now. Wait for deliveries and we'll see what that leads to. All right. So have a great day, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Thank you and peace out.